Hey guys, this is Corey Bystead over at Bishop's RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you this Arctic Fox. This is a fantastic rig. This is a new product on my lot. Um, lots of benefits with this brand. I'm going to show you some things outside and then I'll show you some things inside. I'm pretty uh, cautious with taking too much time, so I'll make this nice, informative, and quick. This is where your batteries go. Now the cool thing is you have that little lock. You can pull the battery out and do that. I don't have batteries on this yet because people will steal them if we just leave that out here. So um, that's why there's none, but you will get batteries. Here's your through storage bay right here. This is also where you're gonna access the leveling system. So with that leveler, you can choose to go front, left, right, back, um, but it, it's easier to just poke the button and just hit auto level on your own. It also remembers the hitching height for your truck. So that makes this a one person job to click onto your truck and go. You don't need a spotter. It kind of does that part. So anyways, I'll, ex I'll point this out too. Take a look. So right here, it's kind of cool. You get a chance to see their welds. They don't use tack welds in the corners and stuff. They use continuous welds and they do a very good job at their craft. So that's what this whole thing is, metal cage construction. And that's how they're doing it. These are awesome slam latches. Um, I love that part. I think every trailer or fifth wheel should have them everywhere, but some, you know, some rigs are still doing the twisties on all the bays. It's still, it's weird. This is amazing. Nobody's really doing this that I know of so far. So usually you have, if you're doing an outside shower, you get this weird little bay and yes, it is weird. You open it and you have to like unwind this hose from the, like from the, I don't know what you call those turn things for hot and cold, but the, the hose winds around that. It's really hard to put it away because then you like wind it just right. And if you don't get it just right, the door won't close. This is so nice. They give you a spot for this. So this is inside of an enclosed area with all this room. You have a drain right here. You can unscrew this and the water will go out if you get messy. But that way you can click in your hose and, and you can just pack it in there. Now, the cool thing is, this is where your battery disconnect switch lives. So if you leave all your lights and all your functions on inside, if you turn that to off, everything is disconnected and you're not draining anything. It's a nice way to have a master switch that just does everything. You don't have to like, okay, we're done camping and then kill all the lights, each light at a time. And like, that's harder. So also, this is so great. That's the hose they like gave you a spot to put it instead of making you wrap it around this part. I don't know why they would do that, but they, they do that. So that's why these guys are better. That's a huge benefit. It's just ease of life. Thinking of a simple thing for a stupid problem that should never have existed. Now, um, right here's a tank flush. So basically when you're, when you're using your tanks and you fill them and you drain them and fill them and drain them, it doesn't, they don't actually get 100% empty very well. Sometimes they get like, I don't know, just like stuff gets stuck in there. And so traditionally the way to flush it out would be to run a hose into your rig from the front door, stab the hose down the toilet and just like rinse it forever and hope it gets that out. Now this, you, you screw on a hose from the bottom, you can get the hose in. That way you can close the door. You screw on the hose, you turn it on and it's just gonna, it, it's gonna rinse the tank in a way that it's gonna get every corner, get all the stuff out 100% empty. Lots of rig have, rigs have that feature, but they decided to compile all those features into this one spot. It's a good idea. Now, coming over here. You get a receiver right here. Now this isn't for really towing and I don't know that you would really want to do that in the first place, but you can put anything on this. You can put a whole rack for like a bike rack or something or one of those big like collapsible like things that come down and you can put all your storage, your luggage on that. Um, so very cool. They even have grill attachments you can do or you stick them onto that thing. So that's good for 300 pounds. Um, that's what they, they think you should not get more weight than that on there. So coming over here, you can see also this jack. We have one right here. And then we have one in the front, one on the other side and one on the other side. So this would be a, just making sure before I tell you, 
which I am correct, this would be a four jack system. You would not need six point leveling. You wouldn't need that. Um, probably because it's so short. Um, I promise you, and I could show you if you want to when you get here, with these down, the, the floor is extremely solid. So if you're worried about needing six, I'll prove you wrong. Now right here we got these awesome steps. If you haven't seen these, where have you been? Coming on and moving on. Actually, well, I will point this out. It has a shock. Not all of these steps do this. This so is kind of nice. The shock, it just, when you get the step up, it just bears the weight for you. So because of that shock, this step is like weightless. Like grandma and grandpa can use their pinkies. Like that's kind of a really valuable thing. They should all do that. Now coming into here, this is actually one of our most popular floor plans. I really, really, really like this. So the fact that they put the kitchen in the back and they put the fridge over here, which is like some people didn't like because it's like this big fridge in your room. I think it was a good idea because they don't have silver. It's not like a big silver appliance in the middle of your living room. They kept the wood cabinetry. So it, it very much blends in. The benefits of putting your fridge over there and not here is that you get to have all of this storage right here. You'd be surprised how many fifth wheels just literally don't give you a pantry because like, I don't know why. Why am I saying because? I don't have the answer. And then also the fridge, if you look at how deep this is, it's like that deep. Now picture having to put your fridge here. The reason I'm bringing this up is because there's other floor plans that are this same floor plan, but they put the fridge here. But anyways, if your fridge is sticking out that much, why is that a problem? Well, because then your slide would hit the fridge. So your slide has to be that much smaller. You get a smaller table and chairs. You get a smaller seating area for your living room. So there's many benefits to this floor plan. It has been Tetris very well. It's a floor plan that's been around in multiple brands for a while, but they did it the best for these reasons. Now, this is an extremely good color palette, I'll just point out. It's really homey. It's really familiar. Um, there's a lot of rigs. I like the whites, right? There's a lot of rigs that are doing just like white color palette, like almost like roll on paint white. I like that, but you know, things about like doing that is it's gonna get like, one day we're gonna look back and be like, man, what were we thinking? That's dated. This doesn't do that. I mean, this is extremely f homey and familiar. So that being said, you have dimmer switches on the whole rig so you can get the lighting just the way you want it. You can kill certain lights if you want them. Um, here's your TV setup. This is a better cooktop setup. I'm going fast because I wasted too much time on colors. This is a better cooktop setup because you have, you can actually use all three of those. Here's like a legit, you know, a legit, legit convection microwave, big. It's got the rack in there and a bunch of cardboard because it's new. Here's your control panel. They put it behind a door so that it's like, uh, I don't know, not out in the open. <laughs> Here's a, this is pretty cool. Put your coats there and then push them in. That's so creative. And then boom. So then you got your steps coming up here. So these doors um, were thought of people. Here's a common thing. People will be like, they'll open the door and they'll realize that to get in the bathroom, they'll have to open the door, come down the steps and then go back up the steps to get in. How's that? You just go in, have the door swing in. Why are people not doing this all the time? I don't know. It's just a smart brand. They've been doing the same floor plans forever. So they've perfected every little thing. You have some cabinets right here. I'll let you swing in there and see the space. It's a corner setup. And then um, you probably already noticed we can get into the bedroom through here, but um, I'll trade you, you go that way. This door also I'll show you swings in. So that's kind of nice. So this is the bedroom setup. So this is a, um, what do they call it? North, never eat soggy waffles. North, south. <laughs> That's what they call this bed setup. So you don't have a slide out um, for your mattress. You're actually using the slide out right here for your closet. 
because if they didn't do that, you'd have no space. So because they gave you a slide for your closet, you get to have these three shelves. You get to have these spots right here. So that's nice. You can't really see very well, but there are hooks right here for your hangers, like a, a thing right there. So you can hang shirts and then they won't swing around. You can store your shoes in that net. Creative. You also have drawers below. That's really, really, really wide. And then you have a more standard drawer size right here. As well as, don't forget, I'm in the way of this shop, but we're just gonna try our best. You have a cubby right there, and it goes just about to where that mattress is, almost all the way to the wall. And then you have this extra drawer right here. So that's gonna be matched on the other side, as well as this is also on the other side. So you have enough stuff, like, what are you bringing? Like everything in your house just to stock this whole bedroom with? There's space, and if you don't have enough space here, then we can look at something else, but <laughs> I think it's enough storage. <laughs> also, if you didn't notice, this slide out made it to the bedroom, or sorry, the bathroom. So you get extra storage coming off of the wall this way too, because this is still part of the slide. So you might be wondering the door is in the way for that. You're supposed to open the door and then you close the slide. So it's still, it's still fine, it still works. So I like that. Also, you get this corner shower. I'm showing you everything. Get this corner shower. People like this one because when you're standing in it, um, because it's sideways, you have like elbows, like, you know, no sweaty pits. So last thing I didn't show you is here. Come, come inside. Let's, uh, you know, there's your toilet space. So that's perfect. Little step on it for the, the flush thing, and that is porcelain. It is porcelain. So some things to point out. This is a really interesting size of fifth wheel. So we are, I didn't even say the model number. This is a 27-5L. Um, so basically, what I'll say is there are like three different types of fifth wheels in general. You have a full-size front cap, which means the front of it is the biggest they really get. And then the ceiling height is gonna stay consistently tall the whole time. Then you have a medium size front cap where it's like a little smaller up there in the front and the ceiling height starts to decrease halfway. Then you have a small front cap where your front is really, really small. Tall people don't fit. And then the ceiling height decreases a bunch. This is like a weird in the middle of full and mid. So if you're kind of like, you want something swift and maneuverable, but you don't want like a smaller to mid-size fifth wheel, this is a really weird, they're the only ones really doing this size. Full width body for a fifth wheel. The ceiling height is still really big, but we're still decreasing as we get further back. And our EAC unit is on the decrease, so that means that bump up is lower. So it's just really creative. It's just physically a good rig to just take floor plan layout cabinets drawers slides fridge moving it for the slide to get bigger and the pantry to be introduced all those things is just really creative simple things that don't cost more money you're not getting more expensive to just physically move something so that's why i love this brand there are tons of floor plans in this brand and if this brand is not what you're thinking i have tons of other brands that i like so talk to me because i really know fifth wheels here I know my stuff, I know other stuff. So call Corey Bystead, that's me, 541-735-1535, and I'll be sure to help you out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.